the best trail running athletes in the world got together on this beautiful Fayal Island in the Azores archipelago. The heart of the Atlantic Ocean was the chosen place to compete in this eagerly awaited four-day stage race, the Golden Trail Championship. The race promoted by Salomon Running was organized by Azores Trail Run with the sponsorship of Azores Tourism. It was extremely uh, five days because we ran in the five uh, races day after day. Isto também associado a algo completamente novo que nunca existiu, que é nós termos segmentos durante a prova. In this race, you have the stage race aspect and you have all the races within the race with the uphill, downhill and sprint segments. So that's really what makes this race unique. The race takes place in the beautiful natural landscapes of Fayol, on trails that pass through a natural park, through a large volcanic caldera with scenic views, and Caipolinos Volcano, the arid and rugged landscape of Europe's youngest volcanic peninsula. Over the course of five consecutive days, the elite runners were battered by Mother Nature's elements, winds, torrential rain, fog, and high exposed volcano peaks. I like Discover Trail and I, I love mountains, of course, and it's easy. You have just to, to take shoes. I love it. I want to come back every year. It's so beautiful and the cows are so happy and the milk is so tasty. It is more than just a championship, it's a celebration of trail running athletes and their fans. Five intense days, 113 kilometers, with 6,050 meters of vertical elevation, split into one prologue and four stages. Today is day number one. Prologue. At the starting ramp, 174 runners set off one at a time every 30 seconds onto the 3.5 km prologue loop to define the waves for the first stage and also define the climb, downhill, sprint, and overall leader bibs. During the championship, all sanitary measures were rigorously respected. A safe environment has always been guaranteed for runners and local residents. Todos os participantes, como vêm do exterior, estados à entrada na região, e o que nós pedimos foi que eles chegassem cá já de estados. Distanciamento social, desinfecção das mãos, uso de máscara. On this stunning Portuguese island in the Azores archipelago, middle of the Atlantic Ocean, the weather can be as wild as unpredictable. It was a day for wading in deep mud, slipping and sliding in technical mayhem, between grappling on hands and knees in the jungle and clinging on to the edge of the great caldera being swept sideways by the pummeling wind. The two orienteering specialists, the Frenchman Frederick Tranchant from France and Tove Alexanderson from Sweden, won the first stage of the Golden Trial Championship in the Azores, taking away the esteemed yellow bib for the start of stage two. The leader of the Azores Trail Run team, with more than 80 people working actively in the organization, Mario Leo feels totally fulfilled. It's a dream come true. Eu sonhava, sonhava que eu sempre andei atrás de convidar as pessoas, de falar, de dizer que isto era muito que era bom. The Azores Trail Run has years of experience in race organization, and it was very important to fight all difficulties, 
and find solutions to all adversities. Quatro descidas cronometradas, quatro subidas cronometradas e quatro sprints para cada dia e encaixá-los nos percursos. Isso foi uh, uh, um grande desafio. Houvesse competitividade e que também valorizasse os atletas. The second stage of the Golden Trail Championship saw the clouds descend and swamp the route in fog. The race started, nestled down by the coast, gave them a short respite from the battering winds awaiting them for a second day on top of the caldera. With incredible weather conditions, it was Bart Prudowski from Poland and Maud Mathis from Switzerland who collected the yellow bib. Dario Moitoso is the Portuguese national champion and he is amazed at the opportunity to run side by side with world-class athletes on the island where he was born. É, são os melhores atletas do mundo, já estava, já estava à espera de, de eles serem muito rápidos, terem recuperações muito rápidas, andarem todos os dias sempre na frente, muito fortes. Vê-los assim e a correr aqui na, na minha ilha e vê-los a correr desta maneira é, é especial. This third stage was originally planned to take place on the neighboring island of Pico, with its eponymous volcano rising up to 2,351 meters. But bad weather conditions made the course route too dangerous. Stage three will therefore be run on Fayal, on a 30.9 kilometer loop west of the caldera. because you get to enjoy the nature and uh, there's so many different places in the world where you can only go uh, by your own feet so you need to run there me gusta correr me gusta sufrir me gusta competir contra estas máquinas porque son unas máquinas son los mejores del mundo esto no pasa muchas veces en la vida y hay que aprovecharlo the last two days of racing are beginning to show damage. It was once again Bart Pradowski who showed no signs of letting up and Claude Mathis retained her yellow bib in the process some athletes stayed in the Azores for more than one week, so they decided to bring their families, which resulted in sweet moments. A lot more fun to travel with the family. Now I can spend quality time with them and uh, the lava sand is soft, so uh, he can play around as much as he wants. The final start line of this Golden Trail Championship was a lineup of war-torn faces and excited smiles as the highway to hell rang out over the speakers. Hello everyone and good morning. Uh, last day, you almost be stoked, even though we added a few kilometers to this uh, stage four of the Golden Trail Championship. A last-minute surprise as the course route was altered due to violent winds at the Caldera summit and dense fog. We see that today the Americans on the longer and flatter and more runnable section took the best out of it, but then in the previous days it was, it was different. With more runnable sections, it was the two Americans, Jim Walmsley and Rachel Drake, who finally took the stage win. I ran with Maude for quite a while and we had a good, good chemistry. It's really exciting to just move quickly through lots of different terrain on your own two feet. I was thinking about running a little more conservatively today, but you never know, you gotta take a chance. Although not by enough to dethrone the yellow bib holders, Bart Prudowski and Maude Mathis. It's really nice to finish 
to be in finish line beautiful adventure because we run a lot of new terrain running at home the best portuguese athletes were Inz Marquez and Bruno Silva e a motivação foi foi conseguir andar sempre perto dos melhores do mundo alguns dos melhores do mundo Estou super satisfeito. Temos que agradecer à organização ter tido a coragem, terem tido a ousadia de juntar atletas de tantos países diferentes. If you see these incredible images, it's thanks to the effort of photographers and videographers that capture unbelievable moments. That way, anyone in the world can feel all the intensity lived during the race. The Golden Trail Championship was an unprecedented event, a race with a worldwide media impact. Establishing the Azores as a tourist destination of excellence for nature sports and adventure. After the week of racing, these four hard-fought stages, the Golden Trail Championship finally had its champions. Maud Mathis, Team Salomon from Switzerland and Bart Pradowski, Team Salomon from Poland. Top in the mountain we have volcano, so terrain is uh, like in the Mars and uh, close to sea it's more green. And it's easy, you have just to, to take choose, visit a country. It was very, very nice to have you here. I hope that you enjoyed the island and the, the trails. Very, very happy for, uh, for you that you were able to come. Thanks again to Trust the organization to trust us, I'm sure you will remember it for a long time. Over these four days, a story was written. New physical and mental limits were reached. Personal challenges were met. New combats were won. And a new place was discovered.